Virgo, what up, though? Welcome to Swimming Through the Void. This will be a general message today for the sign of Virgo, wherever that resonates at for you in your birth chart. Keep in mind, we all do have a sixth house as part of our birth chart, and time and energy are fluid. So take what resonates here today in this message. Leave the rest for someone else. <clears throat> and these readings are timeless as well family so whenever you stumble across this message or this message finds you there will be something here for you um, to help bring you clarity and confirmation to help empower you uh, messages to help you align with your with your best life right tapping into your energy today virgo i use this faceted garden oracle deck along with this keepers of the light oracle deck to catch the vibe see what spirit's trying to say as i'm connecting with the collective energy got some big energies out here right now virgo and that's been kind of that's been the vibe especially over the past few months um as we're you know stepping into this new year and going through these eclipse season energies mercury retrograde right pluto shifting over into aquarius a lot happening astrologically right now um and it's it's a huge pivot point for all of us collectively on our journeys right now so that's what this feels like for you virgo we're going to run through these cards and then we'll kind of break it down before we jump into the tarot but the first card that you had jump out today was this terrarium so th this energy really feels like an energy of emergence for you virgo like coming out of an energy getting through right we have the cave that came out next to the terrarium <clears throat> then we have this bloom and fountain that came out next so the bottom of this deck over here we have mycelium and nocturnes they both wanted to be seen all right so just off this row alone this terrarium you know terrariums are like little environments where we gr they're like little um what is it called little environments little um habitats right to grow things in i feel like this card is speaking virgo to you you know, being placed in this terrarium to grow, these situations, these relationships, our trials and tribulations, these are our terrariums, right? We're placed in there with all of the right ingredients and temperature and, and everything to grow spiritually. And in this card, you see the terrarium, everything's growing just fine. But I see this golden light like bursting at the seams here, Virgo. And for me, it feels like Collective has grown to the full capacity they could in this terrarium, in this chapter, in this relationship, in these situations, right? And this is kind of where Collective is ready to emerge out of this cave, out of this chapter, out of this darkness, into the light, into the new, into the unknown, right? So we have this emergence um, out of this cave, into this light, into this sunshine, into this beautiful blooming energy and bloom coming out back to back with this fountain card feels like very abundant, very fulfilling, very beautiful energy that you're moving towards, like all of our hard work paying off here. So we have terrarium cave fountain bloom. So I see this um, emergence into this new chapter and then three cards came out together i usually don't grab that many cards but it was definitely like this is a message right so i'm put it off to the side we have the sun the nest <clears throat> and the pillar the pillar card very similar to the hermit energy nest being similar to cards like the four of swords about meditation and rest and taking it easy it's like you truly have made it to the top of a mountain virgo you've you've climbed it you've made it to the top and now you're truly seeing things from a much higher state of awareness right this is that sun shining and this energy i feel just speaks to sitting in that energy at this time um embodying all of the wisdom that you've gained along your journey utilizing the tools that you've gained along your journey at this time and really shining your light 
the nocturnes and mycelium card to me is speaking of these astrological transits right now the the kind of unseen energies at work right now are bringing us into alignment with these doors that are that are opening right with these new relationships new opportunities new situations um and the mycelium card not only speaks to this this grid you know this energetic grid but it's also about the medicinal the medicinal value of these connections that we're making as we move forward and also you know our own healing energies that we bring to the table so keepers of the light we have the shekinah the sacred self it says unleash your spirit express your gifts dance to the sacred rhythm of life then we have holy amethyst with divine alchemy move beyond your current challenges focus on what it is you desire and then we have mary magdalene coming through with the teacher awakens and this says you have something important to share so follow the inner call and do not let anything stop you so this shekinah and this um mary magdalene card feels like a virgo a lot of you are stepping into purpose a lot of you are stepping into uh alignment with the mission right with you teaching or healing or you know teaching people shining your light in whatever way that is whether it's you know releasing your music or your artwork starting the business teaching people the tools that you've you know acquired along the way or sharing your story whatever this is it feels like we're kind of aligning with that in spirit really saying virgo stay strong continue alchemizing these energies but get ready to really let your inner light shine have the courage to step into that energy so bottom of the deck we have lady venus downloads and understanding so a lot of downloads coming through for the virgos right now staying grounded being out in nature keeping your energetic field clean and clear will help you to kind of root those down here in the physical so <clears throat> i'm gonna pray real quick then we'll dive into this message starting with the strength on the bottom of the deck here we were just saying having the courage to shine your light right so like i said i'm gonna pray and then we'll jump into this message guardian angels archangels ancestors messages for virgo today for their highest good anything virgo needs to hear or know any messages that will bring them clarity and confirmation any messages that will empower virgo any messages that will bring healing wisdom understanding <clears throat> any messages that will help my virgos align with their highest selves their highest timelines their best lives of course above all any messages that will help the virgo family align with the highest divine will will be greatly appreciated all praise and glory forever and ever i'm also seeing this nest in this pillar it's kind of a hermit energy of going within of of pulling your energy away for a bit to to water the good seeds to sit on your eggs here right to basically ruminate in the energies of what it is you're creating or what what's being birthed through you so what's the theme of virgo's message today please spirit as i see the collective stepping out of this energy into this beautiful overflowing sunshine what's the theme of the message for virgo today sun you guys sun in the tower so a lot of energies being clear hierophant hmm and this is you breaking breaking free from this terrarium though right this is you um breaking tradition breaking the mold breaking away from that family curse or that toxic family dynamic or that toxic relationship dynamic here's you breaking free from the corporate world to do your own thing to you know put your craft or your light out there with the sun in the tower though it's really like anything that's blocking our light that's blocking the light from coming through into our realities um in the full capacity it could is 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 being highlighted right now and this can happen in many ways you know with the tower this can be intense energy this can be sudden shifts and changes this can be things breaking apart right but ultimately this lightning that's coming 
from the sky hitting this tower is representative of the hand of the divine coming reaching into our reality to help move some pieces that might not otherwise be moved right if it was up to us or just up to right so this is divine intervention that is bringing this clearing so virgo you can move to the next level and so you can move toward your happiness um i think taurus in their reading the other day got triple sun as well you're starting the reading very similar to two sun cards right off rip okay so let's jump into the tarot six of swords on the bottom of the deck right worst of the storm is over for those of you that are experiencing this tower energy like right now spirit wants you to know that the worst of it's over this is about holding on um and and following your guidance to these these calmer waters to this um, uncharted territory so what do we have going on with virgo please spirit what's virgo's energy right now <clears throat> Queen of Swords, Virgo means business right now. You are, wow, you are in the midst of a huge release. And this is like, you're releasing this old life, these old relationships, these old habits, these old thought patterns and self-limiting beliefs and negative self-talk. This is where you're truly like awakening and releasing this old version of your life. You're intuitively being guided right now, step by step toward this sunshine toward this balance toward this very stable and grounded energy and with you coming through as queen of swords it's like you're not taking any shit right now anybody can get it anything or anyone in your life that is not helping you to grow or move forward you're like you're, you're setting yourself free here this energy doesn't feel like it's really the easiest energy right now things may be feeling a bit turbulent at this time a lot of intense Pluto energy out here, right? And we we had Pluto shift into Aquarius late January. It feels also like this manifestation of this new life is coming into being almost. And the way I've been seeing it lately is like if you're at a play... Um, between scenes they close the curtain and they reset the stage and get everything ready that's kind of where we're at where the curtains closed and the divine is setting the stage here so again this energy of kind of just pausing being in your own energy um, rooting down into the wisdom that you've acquired the the tools right moving from that space of how far you've come so what is the challenge right now for Virgo please spirit <clears throat> it really just feels like this shift there's a lot of moving moving pieces here seven of wands eight of swords right coming through in the energies that are crossing you um nine of cups it's like again the tower sun energies are being cleared in order for you to for your energy to be open to receiving what it is you know your soul's trying to create at this time this is about holding the line um really being bold at this time betting on yourself virgo and doing what's best for you we also have the queen of wands the queen of cups that came out together here right this is honoring yourself honoring your authenticity honoring your emotions honoring your intuition um going for it making the decision taking action and i'm seeing that there's there is some chaos there's some turbulence and some overthinking or stressing about whatever this is maybe this move maybe this separation maybe this um as you turn this corner it's just like moving into the unknown can be scary the eight of cups card that comes right before the nine of cups which is wish fulfillment happiness all of those things this beautiful golden energy taking everything you've been through and making gold out of it the eight of cups comes right before it the eight of cups is all about us leaving behind things that are not serving us so this from the eight to the nine of cups there really is this energy of like release 
to receive, right? We have to clear out the old in order to make room for the new. So where is this kind of stemming from spirit? Yeah, 10 of cups, nine of cups, 10 of wands. So spirit's trying to move you on to the next level of your journey here and to, you know, move you into alignment with this life that you dream of, with this life, life that you want to create. <clears throat> So huge clearing happening right now for Virgo. And again, with this teacher, Mary Magdalene, the Shekinah, the Queen of Wands, um, unleash your spirit, express your gifts and dance to the sacred rhythm of life. Let yourself be seen. As we're saying that, we have the six of wands fly out. It's like, let your light shine. Let yourself be seen. Don't be afraid of the recognition, right? You're moving into a new world here. You're truly closing the door. There's absolutely a victory here, an overcoming. What's incoming for Virgo? Please, Spirit. That tower is flipped over in the deck. So that's the second tower we have here. It didn't come out, but it's it wants to be seen. What's incoming for Virgo? Two, 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 world and death, ace of cups. So again, it's a it's a major clearing, you guys. It, it, sometimes I say the words don't feel like they do it justice, but when I say you're truly ending an, a, a a soul cycle, it's like you're truly moving into a whole nother space when it comes to your soul's journey. A lot of potential here. To cultivate happiness, to align with happiness, Virgo, truly. It, it's a rebirth. This is the phoenix rising from the ashes. So this clearing is happening. It's like getting all of this gunk off of you in order for you to rise, right? What's incoming here for Virgo? Damn, Virgo, magician. Spirit saying that you have everything you need right now. King of, King of Pence. Magician, Seven of Swords. So it's like this is about getting the game plan, getting the strategy together. Virgo, this is about being in your own lane, in your own energy, falling off the map, um, being in your world right now and being laser focused on what it is you are creating. Whether it's a business, whether it's just in generally speaking, a life, a peaceful, abundant life. This is where you're getting the game plan down together and, and you're making moves. Spirit saying you have everything at your disposal to make it happen here, Virgo. And the opportunity is coming in. We are in the you are in the midst of the portal, Spirit is saying. So what is the advice? Wait, there's another card here. Oh, Wheel of Fortune was upside down on our <clears throat> faceted garden. So this is a huge shift for you. This feels like alignment with destiny for you, Virgo. A lot of abundant energies. There's definitely potential for abundance here. Especially with that fountain card that came out at the beginning. What is Virgo's advice, please, Spirit? Where attention goes, energy flows. Eight of Pentacles, Spirit is saying, Chariot. Stay focused at this time, Emperor. This is all about staying on your job. We have Aries out here. We have the Eight of Pents. We have Cancer out here. We have the Ten of Swords. So you're, again, closing out a very a, a difficult chapter, but you've taken so much from it. You've come so far, Virgo. You've learned so much. And again, like you're glowing. You have this inner light that's ready to shine. So continuing to follow your intuition into alignment with divine will right this is going to be a very individual process this is this comes down to you and your connection with the divine your connection with your higher self but ultimately this is about you doing what you need to do virgo bettering yourself um your routines your habits um, I always say with this eight of pence, if there's a class you've been wanting to take, a book you've been wanting to read, certifications, licenses, anything right now that can add value to you, your craft, or mastering your craft or self, do it right now. Ultimately, with the eight of pence and the magician, this is about you grinding and staying focused and spirit saying that whatever you put in, you're going to get back tenfold empress energy. 
Try not to let yourself, you know, slip into a funk right now. Stay on your meditations, your healing practices, your sadhana, your spiritual practice. Um, and above all, take care of yourself. Drink plenty of water, stay hydrated, um, well rested, um, pay attention to your diet and all of that. Truly, truly honor your intuition at this time. You're being led to this victory, Virgo. I think it's just a matter of trusting, honoring, and following your intuition and having the courage to go for it okay there's really really a strong message here about betting on yourself virgo about gassing yourself up not cutting yourself down doubting yourself and all of that this is really about um the divines like virgo we got you confidence is your key to success right now judgment a lot of doubles double judgment double tower double sun we had on time. What's the message for Virgo Spirit? Eye of the Needle wanted to flip over, and that's Metox on the bottom. So, again, taking care of yourself, take a salt bath, drink water, stay hydrated, stay rested. Closing the door and the crossing. Closing the door and the crossing. Perfect. It's almost word for word, right? And the Eye of the Needle, if you think about threading a needle, um, any type of little barbs or, or pieces of the thread that are sticking off away from that main piece, they got to go. So this is about dwindling down. This is about laser focusing on the goal and anything that is not in alignment with that, right? And you are truly doing that. That's what these towers are. This is eight, a lot of karmic energies, a lot of past life energies. And on the other side of that coin, we have destiny, we have fate, we have alignment right <sighs> intentionality clarity positive outcomes number 17 if you look through the eye of a needle what do you see Summon the experience of being so singularly focused on the task ahead that it becomes natural to remove everything that is superfluous, every distraction, every non-essential, so you succeed. What is, in this case, the definition of success? In order for the threading of the needle to happen, everything not in alignment with your goal needs to go. It's the only way you'll get what you need. Shrewd discernment. The willingness to winnow down the needle thread connection to its essence. The eye of the needle looks so tiny, but once your intention threads through it, a vast opportunity is presented on the other side. The needle can mend, sew, sew things together to make something meaningful and new. You're experiencing success right now, so stay true to your desires, to the work you need to accomplish, so you are laser focused on the experience of creating and manifesting. The outcome is assured by divine forces y'all and I, I, this is very very clear message and with all of these major arcana out here i mean the wheel of fortune the world the star the magician the chariot you guys so many more judgment how all of these majors the sun this is definitely major and it and it does feel like a huge green light and a huge stamp of approval from spirit like yo we got your back let's go um, teamwork makes the dream work is how i'm hearing it so feels like you are in a bit of an initiation phase right now the rite of passage type energy so now we're going to grab one of these white light oracle cards as well um, thank you all so much, Virgo, for stopping through and showing love. I hope you're able to take something from this message. I hope it made sense for you. Um, that's kind of how all the messages have been. There's a lot of dense energies, turbulence, and, and stuff coming through the collective. But on the other side of that, it's like the sun, right? So let's go. Definitely going to be worth it. Man, that sacred scar has been coming through so much. It's about, you know, letting the light shine through our wounds. 
so again, this energy of like y- you taking the light that you've acquired through your trip up the mountain and shining that bright for others. Shining that bright for others. 27, Aurora of Gamma. Okay, this card says it is time to let go of what has been. You're swiftly outgrowing your past. Explore and commit to a spiritual practice that supports your personal transformation so that you can cross the threshold before you now. Embrace your freedom to be creative in your approach rather than doggedly committing yourself to your previous ideas or plans. You have the spiritual intelligence necessary to evolve, so continue your healing journey with trust that a positive outcome is imminent. Continue your healing journey with trust that a positive outcome is imminent. Beautiful. Aurora is the Roman goddess of the dawn, the bringer of the light and initiatrix of a new cycle or chapter of your life. She's the luminous dispeller of darkness, the flickering flame of hope in the heart that can burn into such a radiant holy fire that even the greatest challenges do not cause the soul to turn away in fear. Her presence in a reading signifies a fresh start and an overcoming of an old cycle. Gamma waves are high frequency, typically typically 40 hertz in humans, but extending to the higher levels with hyper gamma oscillating at around 100. Associated with spiritual insight, clarity, pure vision, and breakthrough awareness, the gamma states associated with high-level processing that leads to integration and evolution. With the gamma frequency, we transform knowledge into wisdom through application. We tap into our ability to integrate information and in doing so are truly healed and transformed. As the world around us becomes increasingly complex, the capacity for superior processing is swiftly becoming necessary for the spiritual, emotional, psychological, and even physical well-being of humanity. There's a strong link between spiritual practices such as meditation and the production of gamma waves. When we experience a heightened state of spiritual awareness, an expansive sense of being, or a powerful connection with the universe or spirit, our brain is in gamma mode. Shifting our gray matter gears into gamma waves can facilitate the breaking up of stagnant modes of thinking and behaving. This is the sacred frequency of evolution. Humans who are stuck in patterns repeat the same stories, the same words, the same thoughts, over and over as though on a repeated loop. The soul can begin to wither with such constriction. What is needed is something new and increasingly alive, such as the life-stimulating grace of encounters with the unfamiliar. Connection to gamma waves can enhance our capacity to embrace the unfamiliar, and through that openness of being, constructive adaptation is enhanced. Our way of being becomes more fluid, responsive, and creative. We engage with our experiences and grow positively through how we respond to what is happening. Aurora of Gamma indicates a shift into a new cycle, but also the growing presence of the light within, which is the creative light of spirit. Tuning into that light opens up options for living soulfully, Tuning into that light opens up options for living soulfully away from the grip of ignorance, no longer constantly ensnared by the compelling but ultimately fraudulent conjurations of the ego. Her new era is an inner transformation with positive external consequences. Trust in what your inner light is manifesting in your heart and in the world at this time. And again, with that sacred scar that Mary Magdalene um virgo it feels like you have an important role to play here in the collective awakening you know even if um even if that's just about holding a frequency right and really um using your medicine on yourself right when we show up for our soul we show up for the world so let's go we're gonna grab a message from uh what is this the Moonology deck, and then we'll grab a message from the Divine Mother, the Kali Ma Oracle, just to kind of tie this reading together. New Moon Eclipse, expect powerful change, and we just experienced that pretty recently, so this is the energy we're in right now, and it says expect powerful change. Nothing will come of this situation. Communication is key. Void of course, Moon. 
balance, spirituality, and practicality. Luck is on your side. Wow, you guys, north and south node. Definitely a message here for someone, right? We have um, do not let your past hold you back and step out of your comfort zone. So again, just driving this home that, Virgo, you're truly breaking some past life chains um, whether it is through relationships or inner work or whatever, right? As within, so without. This is big and luck is on your side at this time. Make sure, again, you're staying um, connected with your spiritual practice. It seems to be a very important message coming through. And Spirit's asking Virgo to be receptive to that. Divine Mother, what is the message for Virgo before we tap out today? message for Virgo. Dang. Straight up, you guys, it's a clear message coming through for y'all here about take about self-care and self-love at this time. It says it takes strength of spirit not to override inner knowing with social pressures or an inhumane expectation for constant performance. Trust in the shifting cycles to give yourself what you need for well-being. No being benefits when you're at odds with yourself. You have the inner power and capacity to be at peace within your being now. And Kali Yantra. You have more power to evoke a positive shift in your circumstances than you realize. If anything required for success is lacking, the Divine Mother shall provide it. You're crossing a crucial spiritual threshold. Stay focused, let distractions fall away, and continue to commit yourself to what matters most to your heart. A more beautiful experience awaits you. Virgo, gang, gang, let's go. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Again, thank y'all so much for stopping through and showing love. I appreciate you. Before we tap out fully, we're going to take a second to take a deep cleansing breath. We're going to use our will, our imagination, our visualization to draw from the air this divine cosmic energy, this prana, this chi. Picture it as white or gold light filling your body, filling your aura as you're inhaling. Then we're going to pause at the top of the breath. Hold our breath. Imagine ourselves glowing as bright as we can. And then as we release, we're going to exhale very forcefully like we're filling up one of those little water balloons. Watching any negativity, any doubt, any blockages or lower frequencies whatsoever, we're going to watch all of that in the form of black or gray smoke or static leaving us so the divine can help us transmute that into this light of wisdom. So first things first, take a deep Full breath out, Virgo, completely empty your lungs, and then we'll get this breath in. Go about our day. Go ahead, breathe out, breathe out. Empty, empty, empty. Now breathe in. Hold it, squeeze, move a bundle, lift that energy up your spine, now pull it down, lock it into your heart space, watch yourself glowing as bright as you can, and release, Virgo, hope this message found everybody blessed, well, and in great spirits, I hope y'all have a blessed rest of your day, and I will catch you beautiful beings on the next one.